After you run a regression, you can evaluate your R-squared value, otherwise known as the coefficient of determination. What this value measures is the percentage of the variation in the dependent variable, which is the price of diesel here, which can be explained by the variation in the independent variables, of which we only have the price of oil in this example. So here, about 97% of the variation in the price of diesel can be explained by the variation in the price of oil. Although the R-squared value can be of interest, uh, a high or low value of R-squared should not be the sole determinant of a good or bad model. The point of regression analysis is not simply to maximize the value of R-squared. If that were the case, you could just simply add as many explanatory variables as you'd like, because with each new X variable, the R-squared value will always increase without necessarily helping or aiding in the explanation of the variation. However, if you do decide to throw a bunch of X variables in there, the adjusted R-squared value, which adjusts for the number of variables in the model, will decrease. That's why sometimes adjusted R-squared might be reported, but perhaps not the R-squared value. To help explain that a little bit better, take a look at the scatter plot of diesel and oil. The trend line represents the line of best fit. The distance between the points above and below the line are the errors, otherwise known as residuals. So what R-squared is telling you is that using just the price of oil, it can explain about 97% of the variance above and below that line.